What is lame when you're young, but cool when you're older? Putting half of your allowance in the piggy bank. I wish half my paycheck was disposable income. If Jeff Bezos can do it, you can too. Yeah I can cheat on my wife. Doing it for you chief. No, they said cheat on their wife, not cheat with Oliver Bell's wife. Boring summer days when your parents were at work and you had nothing to do. I used to feel all bummed out on those days. Now, I live for the days where the house is clean, errands are done, and no one wants to hang out. Being yourself, even if that isn't what other people think is cool. Being yourself without caring what other people think is cool. Exactly, but when you're a kid there is a lot of pressure to conform to a group standard of what is cool. If you don't like the right things or own the right clothes or whatever it is, you won't be accepted. Often it takes growing up to realize it's more cool to accept who you are than change to fit in. So much of my high school college time was spent wondering why I'm not like the other kids and don't fit in. Now I'm so glad I'm doing my own thing. I feel like I missed out on so much time as a kid worrying about that that I never really got to enjoy being a kid. I was always so self-conscious that it detracted from every activity I was a part of. Now I don't give a shit and it's so much fun ha. Huh? Going to bed early. Talking to people of the opposite gender despite the possible contraction of cooties. I'm sorry, legit question. What are cooties? My friends never used that word growing up for some reason. A disease only present in the opposite gender. All these years I thought kids were like afraid of herpes or some mystery disease they didn't know about. It's just a made up word for basically falling in love? That's cute. It's a fictional bacteria found only on the skin of a member of the opposite gender during the preteen and early teenage years. That late? Where I grew up, I think we stopped talking about cooties after elementary school. Whenever my boyfriend kisses my forehead and leaves a little slobber, I wipe it off and say, "Ew, I don't want your cooties." And then he licks my whole forehead. Ha. We are in our 20s lol. Drinking water. 16-year-old here. I absolutely love drinking water, but I do remember always hating having to drink just water. It's at the point where I usually intentionally excuse myself from class to have a drink from the bubbler rather than doing it during passing periods because I take insanely long drinks and I don't want to inconvenience anyone. Save some for the fishes. The ocean called, they're all out of water. The jerk store called, they're running out of you. What's the difference? You're their all-time best seller. Oh yeah. Well, I had sex with your wife. Naps edit. Thank you for the silver and gold kind strangers. Teacher here. After lunch every day I walk past the pre-K3 classes at nap time. I'm totally jealous. 6th grade teacher here. For 4 years I taught on my prep and coached robotics after school. I started taking a 15 minute nap on my reading couch every lunch hour. Hated using up half my lunch, but man was it worth it. 15 minutes uses up half your lunch hour. Lunch hour is a misnomer. Most teachers get the same short 30 minutes lunch as the kids. Having fun, even embarrassing yourself to do so in public. I remember being really young, like 11, and refusing to have normal kid fun because I thought it would look silly, which looks the exact opposite. Who cares what you look like? Have some fun before you die. Similarly, dancing I remember not wanting to shuffle back and forth with my homecoming date. Now, 10 years later, I flip my shit on the dance floor. I have a great time. Am I good? I don't know. But people like to dance with me because I'm having fun. Or maybe they just don't look as stupid dancing next to me. Edit I hope I get to share a dance floor with all you great people. Catch me at your local funk soul night. I was often the DD for my friends back in college when we used to go out and hit the town. I will always remember watching the general group of people dancing in any club and how as a group they look fine but focusing on any individual or couple and their dancing was terrible. Moral of the story, just go dance. No one cares how you look. If you can keep the beat, you're golden. Edit, 
I should probably clarify the keep the beat part, seeing that many people latched onto that. It's fine if you can't keep the beat. It's far more important to enjoy yourself, no matter what others think. Dancing to the beat is just the next step up. As long as you enjoy yourself, people won't care about your janky sprinkler dance, like mine. And no, you shouldn't worry about sober people judging. At the time, I was merely thinking about how everyone is a bad dancer, most certainly me, and how that just doesn't matter. Getting spanked. Depends, largely, from who. From daddy. Oh oh. Did you know there's a greater daddy out there? His name is God and he would like to have a word with you. Look, forgive me father for I have sinned is just I'm sorry daddy, I've been naughty with extra steps. Why are you the way that you are? I hate, so much, about the things you choose to be. Every time I try to do something fun, or exciting, you have to make it. Not that way. Plants. Vegetable. I love vegetal. Vegeta is great. My son, the planet, or me? Staying in on a weekend night. Relaxing at home and watching a movie is now my perfect Friday night. Getting those deodorant gift sets, when you're a kid you're so disappointed. But as an adult you're like duck yeah, I don't have to buy those for a while now. Any gift set really. One can always use more soup mugs and weird mini brownie pans. I like hot sauce, so I get AT at least one those 5 bottle Walmart packs a year. They aren't great, but I have a set at work and part of one in my car and they do come in handy. Boss gave everyone a gift set of Korean toiletries. My coworker doesn't like Korean toothpaste and I was like, score. Don't have to buy this again for ages. Historic buildings. Walking somewhere as kid, are we there yet? Can we go faster? Why didn't we drive? Walking somewhere as an adult, oh wow, look at that church. Wonder when it was built? Where's the cornerstone? I wonder if the doors are unlocked? Is that old German? Me as a kid, can't we just stay home? Me now, can't we just stay home? One less question mark, there is some progress. Ha ha yeah. I'd be less annoying because I'm slightly mature now. The excitement of new matching washer and dryer. As I kid I loved getting new appliances BC it meant I got to play with the big boxes. It made an awesome spaceship I refused to sleep anywhere but the spaceship for a few nights. Museums. I used to hate being forced to go to museums. Now whenever I visit a new place the first thing I look for are art and history museums. Going for walks in nature. I love being among trees. As a kid I just wanted to play Kirby Superstar. I loved it as a kid, and never stopped. This one girl shit herself in the two-mile run and finished the race in high school. Kids used to bully her for it back then. But now whenever the story comes up, everyone thinks she's a badass. Girl did what it takes LMFAO. You could say she earned her stripes. Vegetables duck me up with that broccoli fam. Roasting veggies in the oven, get in my ducking mouth. There are few things better than hearing the phrase so I was at the farmer's market. I just tonight discovered the heaven that is roasted fennel. Blowjobs. I was in elementary school when the whole Bill Clinton Monica Lewinsky scandal went down. I heard some people talking about it and I asked my mom later what a blowjob was. I absolutely could not fathom why anyone would ever willingly put a penis in their mouth and swore to my mother that I would never, ever, not in a million years, do anything so disgusting. Cardigan sweaters. Wouldn't have been caught dead wearing them in my 20s. Today? I five hanging in the closet. I'm wearing one now. Finally reached sensible pants and cardigans age. It's delightful. I also say delightful now.